So we have been talking about happiness and where we are looking for it and how we can actually have this happiness in continuity and have the feeling of prosperity, have the feeling that we have more than enough. And we were saying that if we see, we will find that in terms of physical facility, if we understand why we need physical facility, the purpose of the physical facility to take care of the needs of the body, then we may be able to see also that we already have more than enough, more than what is required. But do we have the feeling of prosperity or not? That was something that we were exploring. And also we were exploring about our happiness. So if we are looking for happiness in all the wrong places, and we are looking for it in continuity, that may not happen as we may have found. But if we start focusing within ourselves, we will find that the solution lies within us. Because so far as the self is concerned, my happiness is concerned, I feel happy when I have the right understanding and the right feeling within me. Physical facility doesn't have much to do with it. So though we may have been focusing largely on physical facility, and that may seem like what is happening in society today, it is important for us to see you know, where we want to reach, it is important for us to keep our goal in perspective, to keep it in view at all times, that if we are looking for happiness in continuity, then where we have been looking is not going to give us the answer because we have already been doing that. And what has really happened is that it has led to many assumptions without really our verifying or validating these assumptions that we have. For instance, the assumption that if I have enough money, I will be happy. And we try to justify it in many ways. We try to say that you know, this is required for me because, and so, so many things we may think of. But deep down, if we ask ourselves, you know, do I want more money? Uh, you know, and I assume that I'm going to be happy with it. Or am I really understanding the need for physical facility for the body? And then trying to work towards that. So we keep, you know, when we don't refer to our natural acceptance, when we don't take guidance from that pure part within us, the pure self or the higher self, the pure observer, from that point, if we don't see, then we are, we find we'll be highly influenced by the outside situation. And it seems that we are helpless. It looks like we don't have any choice. But as we start referring to our natural acceptance, 
you will find this changing. So in the beginning, in the screen, what you can see in the lower side, we may be seeing the problems outside, in the inhuman society outside. And you can see within us, within the cell, there is this blank in the B1 block. Blank meaning we are not accessing these higher activities within us. We are just going on with the B2 block, our feelings, our thoughts, our expectations are going on. And we are very often influenced by our own preconditions, our own set of assumptions, ideas, opinions, and we haven't really verified them. Somebody told us something, we assumed it to be true, and we started moving in that direction without really seeing, is it true for me, really? And so on. But if we start now referring to our natural acceptance, slowly we will find this shift happening that we start becoming aware of the higher activities within us. And as we keep taking guidance, we find, or we may be able to find that we are less influenced by the outside and feel more centered within. That means we are having more and more moments of calm within, comfort within. And so this need for running outside for happiness starts decreasing. This is as we are opening up the higher activities of the B1 block within us. And ultimately, the completeness of right understanding is when all of these activities we are conscious of and we are able to be um, in that position or working from that position within ourselves so that all our feelings thoughts, expectations come in line with this B1 block. And with that, we work outside. So we can be happy within and then work outside and help others rather than being helpless and searching for happiness outside, remaining unhappy, largely or much of the time and then of course if i am not happy i cannot help another person to be happy either so this change to bring about this change within this transformation within that would be real progress isn't it we develop the roads, we develop big buildings, we develop many things outside and we say this is a developed country or this is a less developed country and so on. But we are largely looking at the outside, the physical world or the material world. What about the consciousness? So if you see this movement from animal consciousness to human consciousness, from an inhumane society to a humane society, this would be real development. And this is possible through human education, through receiving it as, non, uh, as information to begin with, Processing it, churning it within, exploring within, so that we can have a personal transformation and ultimately 
with this personal transformation, we can help others and eventually the entire society may be you know, transformed in this manner. So we've been discussing all of this and yesterday we asked one question that when we complain about things that are not working right in society and all the problems that are in society and we feel we don't have a solution to this, do we feel comfortable or uncomfortable? So uh, it's time now to stop. So we'll reflect on all of this uh, you know, these topics that we have been talking of, this transformation within. And let us see, you know, let us try to uh, see for ourselves today. Just maybe you can write down uh, one to five points for yourself to see what you are doing to make this transformation possible within yourself what effort you're doing to bring about this transformation within yourself. Firstly, you can answer for yourself, is it desirable or not? And I think that we have all already answered. Next thing you can write down from one to five things that you think you are doing in order to bring about this transformation within yourself. And we'll stop here and take your sharings tomorrow.